so we're gonna get started. So Mega Man Six, uh, as always, we're gonna have to get into the uh, thing thing that uh, I tend to care more about: level design and bosses versus like graphics and music and all that stuff for changes. And weapons are cool, but I do tend to play Buster only, unless if the hacks are really hard or if it demands it or you know must use situations and you know speed runs and stuff. Uh, spoiler alert, but in the next installment of the Mega Man ROM hack tier list, because I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to, we'll be redoing and playing all the hacks again, probably, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, the next time that I do that, uh, I'll be playing with more weapons and stuff, so that way I can have more of an experience with that stuff, so that way that can more impact the rankings more, because that is something that a lot of people care about that is probably more important. Like, if people really care about music and stuff, and they just want to rank hacks good because it has a good soundtrack, then get the fuck out. <laughs> but, anyway. Alright, so... Uh, there's 18 hacks that count for Mega Man 6, and there is one that is an F tier. One F tier hack. Seriously, they'll take like. I mean, I've already beaten <clears throat> Kuja Killer, I've already beaten that many hacks on stream already. I mean, the plan is to beat all the ones that are... I, I don't know. We'll see. I think that what I'm going to do is that I'll beat all the ones that are on romhacking.net and then I might do an incentive for all the other ones that are not listed there because there's a lot of shitty ones that aren't listed. So, But all right, so there are 18 that I count and there's one F tier hack and that is... Uh, whoops, we're not on the right, we're not on the right folder. That is Lou O'Corin 9 Max. This is by Shu Kui Zhao. I probably butchered the living shit out of that, and I apologize to you. I just don't know how to speak proper. Uh, this is the 18th out of uh, 18 for Mega Man 6. The difficulty is well, LOL, because there's not really much of this is a garbage tier hack, however, by no fault of the designer, the the plant man stage in this hack is very difficult and stupid. On 420, when I beat 20 plant man stages in ROM hacks, I beat like, you know, again, S is plant man stages, shadow games, like all of the Mega Man 6, I beat 20 plant man stages, and that one took the longest because it is, it's just stupid and hard later on in the stage. I don't know if we're really going to get there or not. We really wanted to take that long, but that's the most positive thing that I can say about it. Other, other than some of the graphics in this game look pretty nice, but I mean, it's just bare bones. I mean, the enemy placement's like not even there. Like, it, it seems like that they started working on this and then they just abandoned it and like all that stuff. So, this is going to be removed from the Mega Man 6 ROM hack tier list in the future, like, I'm going to be taking it off the list that it's already been done and all that shit. Because it does not belong to be there. It is just this, and, like, there's, like, basic level hacks that I didn't include for Mega Man 1, at least. Maybe not Mega Man 6, but whatever, there are more changes in this overall. Except, as you said, for the happy little accident, not really happy for Alright, this, this upcoming section is, like, very hard. Even if you know where the fish are, it's still very difficult. Like, it's all, like, perfect jumps that you have to make. Those stupid things are in the way. And Mega Man 6 is stupid. Yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot to, I forgot to do the up-top text thing. I apologize, everybody. Give me one second. Alright. 
There we go. Well, there's some- yeah, yes, they are shitty looking jumps. This is a fact. Like I said, this is the hardest of all the Mega Man 6 ROM hacks stages. It took like 10 minutes or something like that for me to be on 420. And it had nothing to do with, you know, anything, bro. But like, I mean, I know. I... Shit. Alright. So anyway, yeah, that sucks. All right, we're not we're not going to give this any more time than it deserves. So we're removing that from the list, okay? Uh, we, I might move that to honorable mention. I will probably decide that like tomorrow or something, um, or now or whatever. I don't know. So we're, I'm removing that one. So that is F tier. Moving on to D tier, we have a common. We're gonna get. You're gonna see. There's a common theme with D tier. Uh, Ridley X, the beginning of D tier. Alright, so anyway, F tier, Lucor 9, 18th out of 18. D tier, 17 out of 18 is Ridley X number 1. Ridley X 1. Alright, so this is clearly by Ridley X. This is the 17th ranked Mega Man 6 hack out of 18. Difficulty, no. Uh, so, uh, just yawn about covers that it. it's just meh. Worth playing if you want to play a really mediocre Mega Man 6 hack. It changes just one enemy throughout the whole game, basically. The background changes or background in a lot of situations that look like Mega Man 10, which do look cool. I'll give the hack credit. Uh, in some regards, but it's, I mean, it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's about as low level of a Mega Man 6 hack as it gets that I would say that you should play. I mean, this is definitely better than a lot of Ridley X hacks, don't get me wrong. Um, and there's a trap here, really I mean, Clearly, this this stage doesn't look that bad at all, right? I mean, this, there there's no there's nothing wrong with this at all. Same as Rockman, Rob, maybe. I don't know what you what you're talking about. Maybe because Ridley, right. Yes. True. I see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying. Right. Now, apparently changing this ship is impossible, because, like, every single hack basically still has a... I thought about going for the next one. I probably would have made it, but I'm not really that used to Mega Man 6 so at this moment. So I can't really get it. But dude, my uh, that uh, when I avoided uh, what the hell is his name? Windman attack earlier when we were playing the video game. It was, you know, it was good. I had a good cancel on jump. Well, yeah, his his Mega Man 4. He has 12 Mega Man 4 hacks. Which is, which is a hilarious number of Mega Man 4 hacks to have. Between him and Chico, they have they have over half of the Mega Man 4 and 5 hacks. Die 
<laughs> All right, didn't die to Blizzard, man. That's good. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, Ridley X one. So at number sixteen, number sixteen is the Chudo Hampa. Yo, Intrepid781, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. So yeah, uh, number 16 out of 18, Chudo Hampa. Uh, honestly, this hack, this, this hack is much better than Ridley X1. Uh, maybe there should be, this should be D+, but no D+, here exists, so. Um, the author is nameless. Uh, 2CH6-881 is all the information that I can give you. This is 16 out of 18 difficulty. No. It's a fun, fair, slightly challenging level design. When you beat a boss, you drop off the spawn bar and into, like, inside the tiles some of the times, which is interesting. It's got enemies from other stages that are prominently featured in stages that didn't previously appear, which doesn't happen in a lot of the early Mega Man 6 hacks. Uh, I think there's just one path per stage, so there's not a lot of variety, which is one of the cool things about Mega Man 6, is the different paths. Uh, so there's nothing really notable about this game other than that. D tier might be a little bit harsh for this one, but I think it's where it belongs, especially compared to its contemporaries. Like all the other Mega... Like, it's, you know, the, the next hack is just that much better than this one, that it deserves to be in... The, uh, the D tier, I think. And I don't want to do a D plus tier. Yeah, that's a post number from the 2 cham or chan, or whatever they call it, TH boards. Yes. That's why I included the author name there, was because of that exact reason. Um, no shots to Itchy. Itchy, the kitty here. I was itchy the kitty, where would I keep my emails? Alright, well I pretty much give up already. This is impossible. That's a cat. Alright, there we go. So yeah, that that was that that's exactly that was exactly it. Alright, so yeah, this is Chudo Hampa, this is just a stage from it. So yeah, like, those guys are from the Centaur Man stage. You know, they do a, they do a pretty decent job rearranging the stage. I mean, it's, it's definitely not, not a bad act. Save you guys watching me fight your mono man. It's a vanilla boss fight, so whatever. Alright, so uh, let's move on to uh, what I believe is C tier next. 
Number 15, I believe, is RE. Let me double check that really quickly. It sure is. All right, so C tier, rank number 15 is RE. This is by Lass slash Null Gamer B. It's the 15th of 18th difficulty. Yes, this game is, is pretty difficult. Um. It's not overly difficult, but it you, it does it does uh, it, it, it does a good job of kicking your ass. That's for sure. There's a lot of cheap, dumb stuff in this one. I know this is a cult classic amongst the speedrunners, but other than calling it space fish, I don't really think that it's you know it, it's it, it's it's definitely not my favorite hack, and I don't think that it's it's in the top. Yeah, it it, it yeah it deserves this ranking in my opinion. Objectively, I just don't think it's that good. Um, especially compared to later work. The bosses and most of everything are normal. It's worth playing if you want a challenge. The weapons are different. Uh, it's got a lot of Kaizo Spike challenge sections, especially in Wily 1, where your jumps get eaten because, you know, Mega Man 6. So all your, all your jumps get fucking eaten. And it just will piss you off. Alright, so uh, let's just uh, round some. Yeah, the plant right refight is BS. Yeah, because of the stupid. Uh, it, it jumps in the pit and dies. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah. I would pick this stage one, though. I didn't remember what it was, but yeah, this is just the. the shit. Alright. Anyway, sorry guys, I, I don't like that game that much. All right, we'll we'll definitely move on. Yeah, the, his later work is definitely another level, um, for sure. All right, so we have reached the point where uh, I'm going to talk about Chico. This is the first Chico hack on the list. This is uh, Mr. X Returns, I believe. Uh, Mr. X Returns. Do, 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 do. Uh, was Mr. X Returns, where would I be? Yeah, what's up? It's, uh, yeah, uh, I, I will be streaming for a oh, little, I don't know. We shall see. Alright, yeah, uh, this, like I said earlier, there are really no bad Chico hacks. Like, there's some average and not some, some not so good ones. But, uh, this is the 14th ranked hack. This is Mr. X Returns. This is Chico. Uh, difficulty, not bad for Chico. This game isn't really that hard, honestly. Other than playing main stage, it's, it's pretty damn hard. Otherwise, this might be one of the che easiest Chico hacks of all time. Uh, it has some graphical changes. Screen scrolls faster, weapon energy fills up instantly. Just energy in general. Boss projectiles are faster and a little different. There's no waiting time when you switch to rush. Weapons are different. Blizzard Man takes literally five minutes to roll across the screen, so have fun with that. And there's a lot of stupid pits that are gonna kill you for no reason, but that's not that big of a deal because it's not in eight robots. It ha that, that is in the, the Wily stages, and you have Rush Jet, so you'll be alright. It, 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 it is Chico, but this... Eh, I'm not even going to say that, that this one... I mean, don't play this one maybe if me saying it's an easy Chico hack enticed you, but there are definitely a lot of other Chico hacks for Mega Man 6 that are better in my opinion, obviously. So I guess we'll play a uh, stage of this. Uh, yes, good. So yeah, there's a lot, lots of changes in this hack. Oh uh, yeah, we're, we're getting one of these ones on. But this doesn't fix the slide, though. See, look how fast that screen scrolls there. That's, that's... That's crazy. We're like getting up the screen real fast. Screw waiting. You're, you know, you're, you're gonna die faster. Oh no. Oh 
in Mega Man 6. Pandas! Yes, pandas. Dude, we're gonna talk about some pandas later in the uh, honorable mentions section. We will for sure be talking. Ooh, first try that time. Let's go. First try. Ladder jump. We're getting better. We're getting better at Mega Man 6 as we go. I need to work on my ladder or my uh, slide cancels and stuff, but it's alright. Snake Man and Snake Asm. Yeah, dude, Snake Asm. It's a good gasm, dude. The best, the best, the best gasms. Oh, alright, I died. So, you know, that, that's that's typical Chico death right there, but that's okay. Alright, so we're moving on to, uh, to B tier. Right? Yeah, we're moving on to B tier. And we are going to actually have a Ridley X hack in B tier. Cause this hack is pretty darn good actually. I gotta say that this is this is definitely one of Ridley X's best hacks. Uh yeah, uh this 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 hack is good. Um this is the 13th ranked hack, it's Ridley X number 2, 13th out of 18 difficulty, not really, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, got, it, it, it's got some stuff in it. So another Ridley X hack, and it's pretty good. The game's got a lot of weird rooms that you can go into, but you can't uh, go back. You don't go back to the same area, it seems like a lot of trap in some stages from like Plague Man. You'll see at the end of the stage, there's a lot of ladder that lead that heads to nowhere. Then there's no other real, no other place really to go other than going up a different area. And then it'll reload the area, and it's got a lot of uh, ladder puzzle mazes and stuff, which isn't a lot of people's fortes. But it's it's not as as obnoxious as Blizzard Man stage from like Magical Jet Tour. But yeah, it really is back for revenge for sure. But. I mean, at least, at least this game isn't going to put you to sleep. Um, so yeah, but uh, it was able to do that because of all the multiple paths that Mult Mega Man 6 can do, and uh, it, it does everything really good. Uh, health drops are, are rare in this game, which is weird. Um, uh, Mega Man grabs his hand when he shoots, as you can see right there. Uh, some enemies take a lot more damage, especially the, the frog mini-bosses. The hack promise extended Wily 3 and 4, and it delivers on that promise. Uh, this is definitely really good. It deserves to be uh, ranking, and it, it shows that really X doesn't always just found it in. Sometimes he's got some some good ideas and some good some good work, so now yeah, we'll, we'll play a little bit of this one. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. Oh 
So honestly, this hack right now doesn't really seem to be all that, you know, much better than even like Chudo Hampa was as far as like changes or anything like that, so. And, you know, unless the hack is truly is ranked very high, you know, B plus A tier. You're gonna probably run into some situations where one stage may not look as great as how the rest of the game might it might be overall. You know. Oh, I turned the other question. Tomahawk Man with one, uh, just, yeah, one hit death. But let's find out. Oh, I don't know what good for. Yeah, alright, well, I suck. Alright, so I'm bad at Mega Man 6. That's not, you got it, okay. So, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's not a bad one. Alright, so at number 12, we are going to be playing another Chico hack, and this is God World 5. Now, uh, so like I said, this is the 12th ranked hack, it's uh, by Chico, uh, at, you know, B tier out of uh, 18 hacks, the 12th ranks. Difficulty? Well, it, it is it is Chico. Uh, there's a lot of inter interesting artwork and background stuff, and uh, you know the bosses, weapons, and all that shit's different. Uh, even though it didn't fix as much stuff as Mixed Directs re Returns, it definitely feels like a superior game in sort of level level design and not having as much dumb stuff. But uh, I will say that uh, the the wall scrolling rock falling asshole uh, is is a jerk in this hack. And I actually knocked this hack down a rank because of the fact that that fight sucks so bad. The wild levels are very challenging. But uh, yeah, to be honest, again, like most of the Mega Man 6 Chico hacks are, are pretty good. Um, there's not really a lot of complaints about, about the game other than just, I mean, if you if you like difficult hacks, you should be playing that. Yes, exactly. It's uh, Chico difficulty. Difficulty is it's Chico. That is true. But not all Chico hacks are the same in terms of difficulty. Some Chico hacks are much harder than others, and that that, that is definitely the case. Is we're we're probably going to find that out coming up because. Well, let's let's play a little bit of this real quickly. What are we at? Go roll five. All right. Clearly, we need to go to Danger Man. We got Danger Man. I mean, that guy just screams danger out when you look at him. I mean, that looks pretty easy to me right there. That's just that's just sliding. Oh, this looks fun. That thing was there to hit me, it didn't do a ton of damage. And it was, it was fun, it was a good, good time had by me, especially. That hallway, or this, this right here is blocking and enemies. 
but that's alright. Not every game can be, can be A tier, you know. Or even B tier, which is what we got coming up soon after this day. That was even because of the, that was not even because of the lag, that was just me trying to go a little too fast there. See, I mean, how, how difficult did that stage look right there? I mean, come on, that, that was fun. Yeah, there definitely could have used some more enemies in the, in the, the sliding sections, but I mean... I don't think most people would think that adding enemies to the game would really, you know... Fix the problem with Chico hacks, or as I say, bring it on. Next, we got uh, the B, t B plus tier. Which is going to be next loop. All right, so this is B plus tier. This is the 11th ranked Mega Man six hack out of 18. This is by Baron Haynes. Uh, so uh, about this game, well, uh, in the uh, fixed slide jumping version of this game, which there's two versions, there's a fixed jump slide and a not fixed jump slide version. Uh, interesting fact is that the fixed jump slide version is slightly more difficult. There's one last seat tank and there's a, a one tile gap in play man stage. And there's a few other minor dif di uh, differences in them. Uh, also, uh, it, it also has the screen transitions to get faster, energy fills up without stopping. Mr. X is now Mr. Y, and he doesn't have knockback, but he him with POW, which is interesting. While his first form is pretty hard in this hack, this is a very good hack, you should really play this one. Not a lot has changed in terms of bosses, enemies, and all that stuff, but the levels are fun and the layouts are really good. Uh, this was made with speedrunning in mind, is what uh, you, were, you were told, and you can really tell that, that that is true. Alright, let's go to Pedal Man. If you guys got some Pedal Man emotes, it'd be the time to do it. Like, so, like, the purpose of this game is to, uh, make the levels feel like, you know, keep the original theme, but being different, you know? Which I, I like that. I think that's a, a really cool idea. Like, you know, making this room much more difficult just by adding a couple spaces and spikes and stuff. Not even this pit that you can fall into. Did I say? Yeah, this is by Baron Hain. Well, yeah, it's not that difficult there. I don't think I really touched it. But I mean, you know, it's it's got it's got Mega Man Six mechanics, so you you might just lose your jump for no reason. That is a possibility. 
very strong possibility, honestly. This is a really cool fight for this though. Serial? Oh yes, the best games are coming out, that's that's for sure. There's no no space fish. Alright, cool. Alright, here's the plant guy. Or pedal man. Dude, I am fucking dead. Well, I suck. Alright, died to plant man. I'm gonna die to every boss, I think. So anyway, yep, that's next taze, alright. Next taze. Next loop by Baron Hayes. Alright. Next uh, is number 10. Number 10, which is Wonderwall. Had a random cat? All right, here you go. I've got a cat right here. Dun it, dun it, dun it. Alright. He's pleased that he got cut. I was like, what the fuck? So yeah, speaking of the the LAS hacks, this is this is the second one, and it is placed much higher than the previous one, which was uh, RE. This is Wonderlaw. Um, this is based on another game called, like, Wagon Yawn Land or something like that. Um, so, number 10 out of 18 by last, Noel Gamer B. Difficulty, it definitely picks up in the, uh, the castles, but it, it's, I wouldn't really say it's that difficult, except for the fact that, like, every enemy does, like, 14 damage. But uh, it's a very different feeling hack, the way that it's presented, and the way that enemies work in the stages, and the the, 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 the health situation and all that. Uh, most of the, the game stages are just one screen, and you just go the whole way across it. There's no transitions or anything like that throughout the majority of the game. Um, and each enemy does, as I said, like 10 or 14 damage. Health is in weird spots. There's lives that are in weird spots. The charge shot is really weird and how it works and how many bullets. You can only have one bullet on screen at a time, I think, too. I'm not going to spoil how charge shot works. You should mess around with it, but it's fun. Um, the, 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 the thing about this hack that is a stumper is the, the X, the Mr. X uh, 4 fight against uh, Mr. X. That is... That yeah, that 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 is that is uh, that fight is is, is 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 really weird feeling. 
and uh, it, yeah, it's it's I don't know. Once you figure it out, it's kind of fun, but it, it's it's weird. Like I don't know how to explain it, but you have to like the the way that you have to hit him and the way that he transitions is just just very strange. Um, yeah, uh, it's a really neat hack. There's no weapons in the whole game. Uh, you just use Buster the whole time, except for one stage where you where you use Jet. Um, it's a really unique feeling for all hacks, not just Mega Man 6, but across all of 1 through 6. It's a very unique feeling and a satisfying game to me. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's based on the, the Wagon Land games from NES and SNES. That is right. So let's just pick a stage. I'm gonna pick the one that sucks. Uh, let's go Centaur. Yo, you guys got some Centaur. Centaur man. I hope, hope, I hope this isn't auto scroller. Okay, good, it's not. Alright, if you guys got uh, Centaur man emotes. Oh yeah, I meant the jump. The jump, yes. The jump. So that's as short as you can jump. Like, that's your short hop. Is just is like that high, but you can float higher. You can do all the other stuff. So it's hard to it's hard to aim your shots because of that, right? Also, your shots don't go through the walls anymore either, which can cause some issues for sure. See if you can just get a ton of lives, and then just how you go from there. Do the birds and the birds in this hacker like it feels like Ninja Gaiden? <laughs> Like they are, they are the most vicious enemies in this whole this whole game. If you're not paying attention to them, that fish right there was pretty dangerous. But nothing compares to a, oh shit! I gotta shut up. I gotta shut up! Oh my god! I shut up! Oh, I'm gonna get fucking s s fish. Alright, we made it. Now the bosses in these games, they're mutilated uh, versions of the original game. These aren't quite up to last as usual standards, but. Um, you know, it's, uh, they're, 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 they're fun, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a good game, you know, right, you know? But, yeah, Centaur Man is right there. If you like Centaur Man butts, you know where to post them. Alright, so yeah, good game. Alright, moving on. I think we're getting to A tier now. That is correct. We're getting on to the old A tier. This isn't this is this is an, an interesting spot for A tier, and I will tell you why after it's happened. A tier, the number nine Mega Man six ROM hack is Cray Five. Now, this is by Chico. This is the ninth ranked out of 18 Mega Man 6 ROM hacks. The difficulty is very difficult. This is difficult for a Chico hack because of uh, some, some areas in the game. Uh, occasionally very ugly. This game is awesome, and the bosses, Blizzard Man especially, are very difficult to beat Buster only. There are some invisible enemies in Wind Man stages that will piss you off. But if you like Rush Jet, this game is awesome. There's so much good Rush Jet action throughout the whole thing. I would say to maybe think about using save states after eight robots because, yeah, man, uh, Wily Two is is, is not, not 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 a great great stage uh, in terms of where the checkpoint is. It's it's a very difficult stage. There's a lot of there's a gimmick that introduces that. You're probably not going to know what to do, but there's ice on the floor, and you have to have perfect rush rush jet to go past this one part. And if the checkpoint was closer, you probably would be able to get to it first. But you got to go through Lost Spike, Kaizo, dumb stuff before you get to it. 
but it's a it's a really well designed stage to be honest it's just that it's hard and it's going to piss people off because you're not going to know what to do and that's just how it works when people play rom hacks and they're not used to what's going on um yeah the checkpoint is bs though uh for sure and that stage wiley who did add about an hour playtime to my completion time, just as you know. I'm not mad about it, though, because I had a good time for the majority of it, I think. Fun, very hard. Play it only if you can handle it. I do wish that Cray had the mechanical changes that Master X had. There's no, uh, no slide jump fix, and the difficulty of this game makes Cray kind of a hard sell, but I promise you it's really good. If it had the quality of life Master X hacks, I'd probably put this above it. I would put it above it, honestly, but it's all right. Kuja Killer, I, I hate to disappoint you, uh, but we're, we're going to play some, some Chico real quick. And then we're going to move on to the next game, which is also probably going to disappoint you. Uh... <laughs> all right, what's, what, what haven't we done yet? If we played, I think yeah, we've done at least eight games, but I think we played at least one stage of each. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll, we'll go to, we'll go to Itchy's stage, the, the Yamato. See, it doesn't have the, the transitions and the quality of life stuff like the other one did. But like I said, this game... Oh, whoops. I thought that I could stand there. I thought I could stand on the probably because I didn't try to jump on it before here. So far, we're looking pretty easy, huh? Pretty, pretty easy, easy stuff. What do you think? Not too bad, huh? Then we get to this boss fight, and this boss fight is uh, is impossible. This boss fight specifically is one of the hardest boss fights you're ever going to do. But you can get weaknesses. <laughs> but you can you you can use weaknesses and it makes it doable because every every Mega Man six hack basically it's, it's four damage, so you, you can get the damage rose. I'm gonna try it again though. Let's, let's try it again. Let's let's see if I can, you know, not get just destroyed by this impossible boss. We're doing worse this time, honestly. Well, that's it for that. Alright, so... Next one in A tier is another Chico hack. I know, you can't believe it, but it, it's true. Number eight is Master X. And up until a few years ago, this was the best Mega Man 6 hack. 
but it has been been knocked down to number eight because there's been so much other better stuff that's come out uh, since then. Now, like I said, this is the eighth ranked out of 18. Mega Man 6 Hacks. Uh, this is by Chico. Difficulty, yes, it is Chico, but it, it's, not, it's not bullshit, but it is Chico. Uh, Plant Man stage is wild, and so is Plant Man. You don't lose your charge when you get hit, you get the jump slide, it's still so good. Uh, occasional super design like Yamato Man's real exit with the four spin guys. Mr. X Robo number one and the number two uh, robots, uh, you know, the Mr. X uh, robot fight uh, end stage bosses are kind of dumb, but yeah. Uh, so if you like hard bosses but not as hard but still challenging levels, you'll like this one, whereas Cray, the whole game is impossible. Um, the demo, de demo can't handle it, but, yeah, um, so, yeah, uh, we'll just play a uh, quick stage real quick. Wait, I went back to Yamato. So yeah, this one fixes the slide and all that stuff. Keep the charge shot. So I I legitimately believe that this hack is, is very very good. Like it's it, it is a very good hack, especially for a Chico hack. Perhaps I should have put this in A plus, or maybe I maybe it actually already is, and I just screwed up. But... Oh well. Let me double check. Maybe this is actually supposed to be a plus and not a plus. Let's see. Nah, okay. Uh, I guess it is. Oh yeah. I see. I know about this corner jump, so that, that's why it's okay. But that corner jump will kill you because it's Mega Man Six. Yep, same thing. Same same general idea. If you're going too fast. You can't slide off, you have to walk off, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'm not Also, I used to speedrun this hack, uh, Buster only, back in the day, and it, it really felt like like a really satisfying Buster only run. Sure, it's really hard, but... No, why not? It's nowhere near as hard as Cray. Like, Cray, Cray 5 is, 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 like, stupidly hard, whereas this one is just... You know, it's hard, harder. Well, this boss fight doesn't really look like it's that much harder. He, look how look how long he stands there and waits. Damn it! Oh yeah, much easier. All right, so Kuji Killer, you can start eating again. Alright, so we're going to move on to the A-plus tier in the number 7 Mega Man 6 hack, which is EX. Now, I have a lot of information on this hack because I left really good notes when I played it, so this, this is going to take a while. But Alright, so, number 7 ranked out of 18 is EX. EX. This is by AYCNN. Difficult? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's a video game, you know, it's tough. So, uh, great at times, anger bringing at others. It's mostly a basic hack with harder bosses, nice stage design, a difficult path to take with enemy placement. 
Uh, you know. Uh. Yeah, so a uh, plant man, difficult boss, and now he does so much damage. You can shoot a shield without jumping and it moves fast. Uh, this game does not fix Mega Man 6's slide mechanics, which which kind of sucks, but that's alright. Uh, Blizzard Man stage is really good. Uh, if you're trying to speedrun, apparently a uh, flame man is the one to start on with because you need the power adapter to do a bunch of detours in the previous stages. So if you want to play this, start on Blizzard Man and work backwards. Uh, Blizzard Man's kind of a dick in this hack. Uh, yeah. Woodman Stage likes to use a lot of bombs mixed with sucking fans, and it, it's a neat, it's a neat looking uh, idea. Uh, Woodman as a boss is really fast, and he'll run into you a lot. Playman Stage has got enemies. If you don't kill them right as soon, they will, you know, start the lava, and you'll die, and you'll have to restart, and you're gonna hate the whole your, your life basically. Uh, this game does remove branching paths, and it forces you to get the beat parts, which is fine. Though I do like branching paths in general in, in, this, in this game. I don't think in hacks is necess it's, it's necessary. Uh, Tomahawk Man, I'm not really sure what they changed with him. The fight kind of felt the stage. It's the weakest of the stages so far. Centaur Man section is met first, and then... Uh, it changes. The Pelicans drop space fish in this game. It's, uh... Centaur Man's stage is apparently worse than uh, Tomahawk Man's, according to my notes. Um, as a heads up, a Night Man's bouncing castle section is pretty tough if, you, if you're not used to the mechanics. I'd recommend Rush Jet for that, probably. Uh, Night Man's one is, is easily the hardest, and it's the only one you can really label as kind of bullshit and unfair. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't think it is, but lesser players might be ranting and raving about it. The Mono Man killed me twice, apparently, in this game. Uh, the thing that pisses me off is that the hackers need to quit doing the tribute to older in other Mega Man games. It has to stop. Mr. X has the Mega Man 1 castle intro, Mega Man 4 Wily part, Mega Man 4 castle part. Mega Man 3 Wily 1, etc. All the Wily 1 tribute stuff. Stop it. Please, just stop it. Hackers, stop doing tributes to other Mega Man games. It's not just for the X. Other hackers do it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Please. Um, from what I could tell, the only weakness to the wall dick was uh, Buster, but... Um, yeah, the X2 stage is good. X4 stage is alright. X3, I feel like a Mr. X stage mashup, which, I mean, again, tribute stages are dumb. Uh, Wily 2 has an invisible platform section, but it's done right with enemies that go back and forth so it shows you where it is. Uh, you know, that's okay. Wily 4 is very extended. Uh, yo, dude, Fiagach. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. Welcome. Tier lewd? Oh, dude, yeah, we're, we're getting, we're getting, uh, ready to get super lewd. We're, we're getting, we're about to get to the sixth one. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry, I don't mean to disappoint. Uh, Wily 4 in uh, Rockman 6 EX uh, is very extended. Um, for all of you in the Theogotch uh, raid party, thank you for, for doing that. Appreciate it, and hopefully your stream went really well. I'm Fake Mega Rob. That I am currently ranking all of the Mega Man 6 ROM hacks. There's 18 of them, and we're on the good ones now, which is the A plus tier. I'm in the middle of the Rockman 6EX uh, ranking. And then after that, we're going to play some Super Mario RPG, which will probably be in about another 15 minutes. So. Alright, so my only complaint about this game really is that there aren't enough sections designed around using Rush Jet in the way that a lot of other hacks have done. But this game is good. Uh, it's better than Cray, and it's better than Master X. But it's not as solid as, as the, the later ones, as, as, as you'll, you'll see. Yeah, uh, and also, you'll be surprised to find out who the real villain is. Just ignore the newspaper at the end. Uh, it, 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 it's not Wily, actually. Alright, so yeah, I'm doing well, thank you, Theo. Gotcha. Hope you're doing well, too. Alright, we're moving on to the number 6th ranked hack out of 18. Oh, wait, whoops, actually, we're gonna play this really quickly. I forgot to play this. Alright, so this actually is where we're... I gotta play a little bit of this. this. Alright, we 
We're still on EX. It's great to side to try to touch this attack. You haven't ran through. Got 50 second PP. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, all right, we're, we're not just doing Yamato Man again. I don't like keep, keep picking Yamato. Cause, just because of Ichu. Ichu was here earlier, that's why. Alright, let's go to work. Going to win this time. Oh, yeah, this is the stage that I thought was pretty good with the really bomb mechanic. Fighting on clouds and one man stage. Back and forth of those things with pandas is actually a really cool little thing going on there, I think. Like this, yeah, I was right. When I said that I liked the stage earlier in my thing, I wasn't lying. This, this is a good stage. It really gets the one man gimmick down, I think. Like how you would feel if you were somebody like, here, we're gonna make a windman stage. This, this this feels like this feels like a windman stage and I just got destroyed. No! Dude, Mega Man 6 fucking jump and slide and bullshit. Gravel. No, I knew he was gonna be there too. We don't have jet, do we? Or at least there's heat tank there. We gotta do all this again. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. No. No. This is why you always get fucking rush shut first, so you don't have to do this stuff. No, I got fucking lagged. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. And then you get fucking Mega Man 6 again. Fucking goddamn lag. I mean, yeah, he deserves to be praised, but right now I'm mad because the, the game is killing me for reasons that I shouldn't be dead on. 
Shouldn't be dead, goddammit, so I shouldn't be having to deal with this. I should be done with this by now. No, I... that's my fault. Can I... can I jump off that? Alright, I should have just gone for that glitch earlier and not have saved us a lot of time, but still. Oh man, my thumb is killing me now from not from doing that shit. Alright, so we're gonna fight the boss and I know. Well, that added like an extra like twenty minutes to the timer in the level section. Oh, he's fast. Oh, I'm just gonna have to wait. Oh no. no. What? At least his boss is stupid. I, was, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to call you stupid, dude. Alright, so all right, we'll move on. That took, that took a long time. I'm sorry, everybody. Alright, so the next game, ranked number 6 and 8 here, is... A plus tier, excuse me, is Magical Jet Tour. Alright, now this is the sixth ranked out of 18. It's by Last Null Gamer B. Difficult? No, not really. So, uh, in my review of this, I was playing on hard mode, though there is a normal mode available. It lets you get jet and power from the start. There's no real changes to the mechanicals or visuals or the enemies. Uh, so, I'm just going to be defaulting the jet pack usually. Um, Nightman stage is pretty hard. Uh, it cuts the it cuts the the bouncy things in half, and you shoot and zip off of them really hard when you get on the cutoff portion of them, which is which is nice. Um, there's a heart shaped spike pit in the game, which is nice too. They completely nerfed all the weapons in the game too. Their weapons are stupid. Like the, the Nightman's weapon is is like extension extension of Mega Man's hand basically. Um. There's a lot of really fun parts with rising and falling platforms you can get away with because the whole mechanic of the whole game is based around uh, jets and jet mechanics and stuff. Uh, there's a really fun bullet puzzle in hard mode, a flame man stage. It's, it's hard to get through. There's a lot of neat little uh, Kaizo uh, wind and spike puzzles and, uh, and wind man stage. Uh, the whole game is great. It, it, there, there is so much good stuff going on. Then you hit Blizzard Man stage. Then you hit Blizzard Man stage, and it's a fucking maze. And there's no rhyme or reason for why anything seems to work or do things in some of the spots. And it's just not fun. And you're just like, oh, and you just kind of don't want to do the game anymore. Oh, man, it just ruins it. Um, also, uh, there's uh, Yamato Man's uh, stage. There is a fish in pretty much every single pit, and so that kind of defeats the purpose of having a fish in a pit, because you need if there's a, a fish in every single pit to go in, you know there's going to be a fish there, so you have to wait anyway. And so there's no suspense, and there's no difference. It's just kind of like, ugh. Uh, uh, and you have to wait it, and you're oversaturating the game with suspense and fish pits. Um, this is a problem that a lot of other hacks have too, but it's most prevalent here. Um, X1's got a lot of fun, simple spike puzzles. Uh, the tomahawks shoot up straight, so you can kill the wall fucker in X2 instantly. Um, the whole thing is fun. Wily 1 and 2 are really fun. X3 has, has a really, really cool... Fan bomb shoot up section that's great to do to do and it, it's it's so good. Uh, I love Magical Jet Tour. If we're talking about favorite packs, this is this is is higher up than sixth place, but 
being just objective and all that stuff. It, this, this is where it belongs at the sixth sixth rank out of there with an, at an A plus. I believe I had this S tier in my original preview of this stuff, but I think that it, it probably belongs here. But uh, again, it's 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 just fun. Really, really good game. Right, we'll play a little bit of it before we move on. I just went to Yamato again. Alright, apparently we're just going to Yamato stage. That's that's the. I'm playing. I, this is hard mode too, also. So you'll notice you get jets and all that stuff right away. And there's a spacious. Alright, we're not playing this stage because I bitched about it already. Because every pit there's a fish, so you have to stop and wait, and it's just like. Can, can, we, can, we, can we get some less fishes? Alright, we'll, we'll go to wind. I don't know if we're gonna finish this, but uh, I'll show you guys the wind stage. Although the beginning of it, I don't think it is necessarily as fun. It's kind of a puzzle, too, as to how you're supposed to get out of it, and then just the rest of it. It doesn't give you a bunch of lives before this section. Alright, so you gotta fight the fans and you gotta figure out how you can make it through onto the next section, which is a really cool little puzzle the thing that you're gonna see here. Alright, so now you try not to die. And you just walk right off because you are stupid? I guess that's uh, what happened there. We'll, we'll try that again just because that was that was just Rob being an idiot error. That happens then. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so Rob, don't be stupid. Go. That one's tough. This one, you're just gonna go... This is, this is the part that usually kills me. Oh, sweet! We did it first try! Let's go! I just don't die there. Alright, we didn't die there. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Hopefully I don't die by going down there. Oh, okay. Sweet. That went pretty well other than that time that I walked off. Alright, and this is a vanilla boss fight, so we're just going to skip it. But Alright, cool. Alright, so that's Magical Jet Tour. Now we are going to be moving on to S tier. These are the best of the best hacks, except for the double S tour. All right, so we got hack number five, which is Shadow Game. This is the fifth ranked Mega Man 6 hack out of 18. It is by Last Null Gamer B. Difficulty, not after the Nightman patch, if you use weapons. Otherwise, there's some 
some dumb spike and uh, pit stuff and Mr. X2 that you'll have to deal with. But um, yeah, uh, Shadow Game, it changes everything other than the backgrounds and the music. Uh, it's got a lot of interesting physics stuff that you can do with uh, the wind weapon. Uh, wind. Wind is is the key to this game. I got I got lots of safe states here. All right, so I, have, I actually have safe states in this game. So all right, so yeah, wind is a is the speed run thing that you're gonna do here. It obviously speeds you up, and yeah, the slide is fixed. This this part right here is just cool. There's lots of little neat little parts. And I got first try. Uh, there's not like nothing quite that cool other than that little section there. But uh, there's just little things in this game that just make you smile and have fun. And I mean, you know, you see how much different all that stuff is. Like wind, wind just propels you forwards. And you know, it's it's, it's a good time, good video game. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, even though I just showed you where the where the, the tank is and all that stuff. So I just spoiled a lot, actually. <laughs> I spoiled the whole entire game, essentially, right there. Because I showed you all... Well, I just showed you. Uh-oh, it, it froze. Uh-oh, the game got mad at me. Alright, so anyway. Uh, yeah, Shadow Game, play it. Uh, just just do it. Just, just play it. Just play Shadow Game. Just play Shadow Game, do it. Alright. Um... I'm not entirely sure where I really want to place this next tag because it just came out. I think I'm going to keep it in the single S tier, but I do think it is ultimately a better game than Shadow Game is, and that is the newest Mega Man 6 game, which is After Tournament. This is an S tier hack. It's ranked number 4 out of 18. It is also by Last Null Gamer B. Is it difficult? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Uh, this game, uh, the bosses in, in After Tournament are what Unique Harassment meant to do. Like, uh, with the two phases and all that stuff. The way that it makes it so that Charge Shots does two damage in the new phase, and it doesn't give you health between the phases, and it's not too hard, it doesn't make the bosses bullshit. It, it's, it's, so, it's so good. The whole rest of the game is great. The weapons, it has a, a, a portal gun for a weapon. Um, it's, it's so good. I don't think it's as good as, as again, S or the games that come after that. Uh, Nightman, that fight sucks. It's stupid. It's just, it's just, just a bad game. But, uh, starting with Jet and POW provides a lot of replay value as well. And the way that Jet works is really neat. Um, the ranking of this hack might change, and the, this is the only one that might change between this and the combo release where I do all the hacks and I rank the 200 and whatever ones in one whole thing. I might put this higher, I might put this lower, but for now I'm going to put this at number four. Um, I think that's in the unbeaten hacks folder still, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's it's really good. I, I I mean, yeah, a lot of people might say it's his best. I I do not necessarily agree, obviously, because I'm saying that, you know, that there's three hacks that are better, and there's still one last hack left. But I mean, it's it, it, it's quite quite a game.
Yo, what's up, Nublar? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're uh, in the middle of the, or not even in the middle, I guess. We're kind of in the towards the end of the, uh, the tier list. We just we just got a few left. Oh, you can kill those things. Interesting. Oh, I learned something. Alright, so don't die to double stuff. Oh, I can shoot them in the back, okay. Alright, so this boss fight's cool. It's it, it's too buggy. I, I, I'll talk about painful world in a little bit. Kumba beat it, but he, he he beat it with using like hex editors and save states and shit, you know. Like I like, I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, not to spoil the, the rest of that fight. Whoops, I made a save state. Oh, well. Alright, so we are going to move on to the double S rankings. The last of the LAS hex. This is, again, S. This is the third ranked... Mega Man 6 hack in the double S tier out of 18 Mega Man 6 hacks. This is, as I said, is by LAS Null Gamer. Uh, this is a pretty difficult hack. Um, there's no new soundtrack or graphics or a fixed slide, so minus 100 points, right? But oh boy, everything else changed. Enemy AI, enemies in general, boss patterns, weapons, status of certain items, everything basically has changed. Like, this is basically like Yender Code levels of changes. Though there's no music or, or visual changes. Nightmare and Sage is disappearing blocks that are not to be confused with Yoku blocks and enemy spawn points. Uh, there's a lot of enemy spawn points, and that's kind of the, the, the thing of the game. If you hate enemy spam, you might not like this game as much as some other ones, because some of it does feel kind of enemy spammy, but uh, you know, whatever. There's a lot of space fish. This is space fish 2 here, so there's a lot of space fish that go up and down, and they stay on a loop. Uh, most of them do. Uh, the whole game is tough, but all the stages are fun. All of the stages have different uh, mechanics. Centaur Man stage, it's like you're in molasses. Uh, Flame Man stage, you, they get fish that are summoned everywhere. Blizzard Man stage, uh, it's it's a it's a big fan thing where you got to fight against it, but there, there there's ways to get around it. Uh, Plant Man stage is cool, but it, it's not really. It, it Plant Man stage is probably the weakest out of all of them. Uh, so you also, you don't get Jet or POW until the X stages. You get Jet in X1 and you get POW in X2. 
And in the hard mode, you you only get them for those stages, but you get to keep them afterwards in the other one because there's puzzles and Wily one that require use of those things. But um, I don't want to talk too much more about this game. You just play it. It's most of the Mega Man Six speed running community thinks that this is the best Mega Man Six hack, uh, at least before uh, Unique Harassment came out. Uh, but before that, even after Spirit of Hackers came out, this was the choice of the Mega Man 6 speedrunning community. Uh, I think that the Mega Man 6 ROM hacking speedrun community, maybe not, but hey. Um, anyway, yeah, just play this. Play it. It's, it's too good, basically. Um, again, uh, where is... Uh... Apparently, I only have hard mode in here. Nope, there it is. Uh, oh, that's the The stage is a little much more uh, fun and easy if you have a uh, Tomahawk Man's weapon, but yeah, look at this. You're in molasses, so it's faster to jump than even to slide. And then, of course, you, there's a little bit of higher jumping that you can do. Thanks, game. If you guys got horse butts, now is the time to use them, I guess. I gotta jump over this guy. Yeah, we did it. Alright. So, anyway, that's again us. Play it. Double S tier. Hack. Get it done. Play that one. Just do it right now. I don't even be mad if you just stop listening to this and just play it right now. Alright, so number two at the double S tier, we got uh, Spirits of Hackers. So this is the second rank Mega Man 6 hack out of 18. Double S tier... Uh, this is by Pure Sabe. 
This is the finished version of the hack formerly known as Skype. They fixed Mega Man 6's slide, which makes it great. Uh, great stage design overall. The bosses are all very different. The whole game feels different. Weapons are work differently. Uh, Windman is looking kind of a cheap jerk. So is Nightman. Um, the only bosses that are much different is honestly Tomahawk Man, other than, well, Mr. X isn't really a stage. You just do the vanilla boss fight. Same with X4, it's just a boss fight as well. Um, unfortunately, Wily 1 is one of those stupid tributes to other castle stages, but it kind of, it does it better than some do, but it's still not a gimmick that I really like. Uh, it's the worst stage in the game. It's even worse than the sword section and, uh, X3. Uh, yeah, there's lots of authors. I, I, I just went with what the said on romhacking.net. I know there's a lot of people that worked on this. Kuja Killer, if you want to tell me who worked on it, I'll, I'll read it off here in a second, but... Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I like the fact that there's the mini boss gauntlet and that they made Wily 3 a lot better. Uh, yeah, so Ensis, Nekumo, and Tsukekuro were other people that worked on it. Um, yeah, uh, this this game is an overhaul. You must play. You, you play it. Play it now. Play it. This this is a stronger double S than a get S is uh, to me and a lot of people. Where the hell is it? <laughs> Where is Spirit of Hackers? Spirit of Hackers. Spirit. Do I not have Spirits of Hackers? Did I delete Spirits of Hackers or can I just not see anything? Do I not have Spirits of Hackers on here? What the fuck? Oh, SOH, that's what that means. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's the Burst Chase and Claw author. Uh, I guess Nightman stage, because so you guys can see how crazy Nightman is, but... This is also the first stage of the speedrun. Spoil this game. I mean, look at this. Look at this game right here so far. Look at all this stuff happening. Those things explode you when they come at you. There's no music. I mean, shit. There's no. I just don't even need to say anything. You guys should just sit here and listen to the music. This isn't Mega Man 6. This isn't Mega Man 6. This isn't Mega Man 6. It's not Mega Man 6 music. Not Mega Man 6. This is the first hack so far, I think, that has new music from Mega Man 6 that we have on here, so... It's kind of a big deal, honestly. Oh my god, where'd that thing come from? section of It's been a while since I played this game. And it's been a while since I've played a lot of packs, honestly. It's exciting to put the idea of going back and playing them in the near future is good. Brings on the good feelings. There's a the space fish. There's the space fish. Yeah. 
Alright, so this is the boss. I bet this is gonna be a pretty original feeling boss right here. What? Nightman's a giant sword? Alright, well, I'm bad. Alright, so alright, that's Spirit Hackers. Alright, so next we got the number one hack, and for those of you who are playing at home, you probably know what that is, and it is going to be Unique Harassment. Now, uh, part of me doesn't want to put this number one, but I know that this is, that this is the number one. Um, it's just the amount of work and all that stuff. The fact that it has Doc Robot mini bosses that are from different games that are done really well. The new music. Uh, the fact that you can jump when you're here, like, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. The, like, just th there's just one thing that you need to see, and you'll know why this is the best one. The problem with this are the bosses, and the problem is is that 1.0 bosses are way too stupid, way too hard, and then everything after that is way too easy. You get infinite lives, and you get healed in between boss phases. The weapons are way too broken, and, but they're all multifaceted. Um, I don't know, man. This 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 whole game is just is just a masterpiece in a lot of ways. But it's incredibly broken and stupid. Oh wait, I, I gotta go this way in order to show you guys the what I'm talking about. For why the real reason why why this is the best Mega Man Six pack. Show you right here if I can get. All right, we're making a safe today. Just so I can show you. I didn't get it. Right there. You do the Mega Man three slide jump in this game, and that's it. That's why this is the best game. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Oh, you want to see? You want to see a little bit more? Okay. Well, I mean, like I said, uh, there's many bosses. I mean, there's enemies from other games. Uh, there's different gimmicks from other games. Like everything got ported over. Like, this this game is basically just, like, a compilation of good Mega Man, like, bosses, and enemies, and, and like, everything. Like, it's... For how, for how much I didn't want to put this as the number one Mega Man 6 hack, it, it, it deserves it with every ounce. Alright, we're not going to even spoil the boss, we're just going to show you the mini-boss. There's a mini-boss, look at that. You gotta fight... You gotta fight. Commando, Doc Commando in this game, and it feels very similarly to like, how they would have done like a Doc Robot fight. It's him in Mega Man 3. Like it's, it's just every every aspect of you know just the one attack, you know nothing nothing overly overly too much, you know. Oh yeah, we got the jump again! Oh, yes, we got the jump. All right, so. That is the best Mega Man 1 hack, or Mega Man 6 hack, in my opinion, is that right there. So, um, just to reiterate, I gotta load up a different one so that I can take a quick look at the list. Um, we're gonna do a, the, the honorable mentions real quick. Painful World, as Kuja Killer said earlier. This is questionable at best. It's a really bad hack with a lot of Change, without a lot of changes, it crashes everywhere, weird places, and you 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 can beat the game by going to Plant Man stage and doing a ladder jump to beat that stage to get Jet, so you can avoid a place where you can soft lock. There's just tons of soft locks throughout the whole game, and it's just I, I don't think most people or anybody are going to be able to beat that game reasonably without soft locking in lots of spots and or you know without using save states or using like hex editors or shit like that so i don't count that on my list for a lot of reasons and kuja killer agrees with me so that that works for this situation um there's a rock man six plant only thing that's fun but i don't count that and then there's this game which is a giant meme it's uh, panda bears Pandemonium. Where, well, I mean, you'll see here in a second. Uh, 
Every single enemy is just replaced with a panda bear. That's the joke. Sorry, I, I guess I gotta speed this up, so I won't count. Yeah, but all right, and then also Rockman Six Innocent. I don't usually talk about uh, demos, but you should play the four robo demo of Rockman Six Innocent as well if you need Mega Man Six content. Because it's just there's just one demo, so that's all there is really to talk about. So here we go at F tier, Lucoran Max at 18. D tier at number 17 is Ridley X number one, and number 16 is Chudo Hampa. In C tier at 15 we got Re, followed by 14 Mr X Returns. At B tier we have at 13 Ridley X two, followed by God World five at 12. In the B plus tier, we have Next Loop at 11, followed by at number 10, Wonder Law. In the A tier, we got, or the Chico tier, which is kind of hilarious, honestly, we have Cray 5 at 9, and at 8, we got Master X. In the A plus tier, at 7, we got EX, and at 6 is Magical Jet Tour. In S tier, we got Shadow Game at number 5, and at number 4, we have After Tournament. In the double S tier is, again, S at number three. Number two, we have Spirit of Hackers, and number one is Unique Harassment. That does conclude the Mega Man 6 hack tier list. Thank you very much, for everybody, for watching. Um, it's 1.45 a.m. my time. I don't think I'm going to go to bed anytime soon because I'm kind of wired, so I'm going to take, like, a five-minute break, and then we're going to play probably, like... We're going to play a little bit of some Super Mario RPG. So I'm going to take like a little five minute break or less or something. I got to go pee and like do some stuff and I'll be back in like five minutes. But thanks for watching in case this is all you wanted to see. And yep. All right. Thanks.